be that one. Ah, uh, if you knock, you not go wait. May they respond to you before you. you. You fresh pass us when did he ask? <laughs> yeah, so now, now you finish our food for this house. Yeah. So like this now, you don't serve the country when not serve us. You fresh, oh! <laughs> you fresh! That's what I did there. No, you, you fresh past us when they are set. <laughs> How's your journey? Good. Hey, you're looking good. Yeah, thank you. Good. Yeah. Yeah. So like this now, you don't serve this country when we like. This feels good. Mm. This is delicious. Back to eating the real food. Mm. 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 Mom. This is good. Thank you. It's been a long time. Mm. <coughs> Dev? Dad? What are your plans? Dad, now that I'm through my NYC, I have to get a job and start making a living for myself. Mm. In that case, you work in my company. Give you a good day. Dad, that offer won't go well with me. I have to get a job elsewhere. It will enable me accountable for myself. And not making a living under your success. That's a good one, son. I'm proud of you. I consent to that. Thanks, Dad. Mom, do you support that? I'm tired of all these your excuses. What do you mean by I cannot spend a night in my house? Because I'm still living under the guidance of my parents. For goodness sake, you're in the university studying mass communication. You're no longer a baby. <laughs> I know that I'm no longer a child. But for the fact that I'm still living under the roof of my father, I have to abide by their law. Look at the way you sound. You are sounding as if you are going to live with them forever. Why don't you come and see them? Tell them you want to ask for my hand in marriage. I will do that. I'm sure of that, but not now. Then when? When you are done with your studies, I will do the needful. Okay. Then you have to be patient. The way you are sounding, you sound as if you don't love me the way you claimed. Really? Yes. Well, I think you should ask yourself that question. You will find the answer. Yeah. All, right. All right. And moreover, this whole questioning is making me feel very uncomfortable. I'm beginning to wonder if you actually love me the way I love you. Babe, we have known each other for, for six months now. I think... We should be more close to each other, to know each other well. But we are getting used to each other. <sighs> Man, thank you so much for bringing me home. Um, I really appreciate Come up, Dad, man. If I were in your shoe, you would do the same for me. For yeah. sure, for sure, for sure. You're right. Um, Bro, you need to fix your car. Don't let it stay that much in that mechanic or shop. Of course, I'll get it fixed. First thing tomorrow morning. You know it's my father's car, not mine. This guy, your father's property is your own property too. I know, but I have to work hard to achieve my own. <laughs> you know, the thing is that I don't want to be a child that always depends 
on his father's property. I kept wondering why a guy like you is looking for a job where you can as well assist your father in his own business or even get substantial amount from your father to start up your own business. Bro, see, it's my choice. Okay? I need to do something first. I need to hustle on my own. Then, when I have something at hand, I can now go to my father to ask for an assistant. Man, I admire your kind of person. <laughs> anyway, you say you're not coming in. Um, I wanted to go on. Your mom will delay me. Then they go now. I, now you're away. No, no, no. They find my way to go. Uh, the only way I can come in is if Ada is inside there. You know, I told you I love this, your sister. Guys, okay, see, man up. Man up. Go to Ada and talk to her. She's not a stranger to you. Uh, yeah. That means uh, I have to come in, come now. Hey, hey. You have an appointment to catch up with. You have to start going. Thank you. Okay. I appreciate it. Take care. Yeah. That you're busy with your phone yeah so who are you chatting with i'm not really chatting i'm trying to see if i can see any job vacancy to apply oh okay so yeah. did you see any not yet still checking yeah okay is mom looking for me no okay what do you mean like i can't come check on my brother what <laughs> i didn't say that Okay, who is depriving you from doing that? No one. Yeah, no one. Anyway, um, I'm here because I want to discuss something with you. Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, I'm listening. <sighs> so, there's this guy I met. His name is Victor. He asked me to date him and I accepted. This is interesting. Yeah, he's been a very nice person to me. At first I was, you know, skeptical. Is he really serious? Does he care about me for real? But with time I got to understand he's genuine. My sister's in love. Somebody's in love here. Wow. I'm scared. Scared about what? Mom. She, she saw me earlier today with the guy. I, I, I just had to hide from her. Why would you do that? Because I was afraid of what she would do. No, you know, if she no. would create a scene or something. You know, Mom. Babe. You're grown now. Okay? The only way Mom will get angry with you is when you start getting yourself distracted by that relationship from your studies. Hmm. Okay, so are you suggesting I tell her? Of course. Own up and tell her the truth. Hmm. What? Hmm. Oh. <laughs> ha. Yes, ha. just tell her. Just tell her. Did Feel it. free. Feel free. Tell her. Just watch her face then. Ha! I don't have the courage to do so. I do not have the mind. Ha! Cannot. But, but even if I have to, it won't be now, though. No. Ada. Ada. Do not let it linger. The day is dangerous. Tell her. Now, it's easy for you to say. Yeah. Because you're not the one in this situation. Anyway, be careful in this relationship you find yourself, okay? Use your head and guard your heart. Okay. 
Hmm? So if anything happens, you'll be able to hold your heart. Oh, please, nothing is happening. <laughs> nothing is happening. Stop. You'll be able to hold your nothing heart. Is happening. So try and love with your head. Your phone. Oh, it's Lucy. Lucy? Oh, I saw her today. She asked after you. Pick it. Are you ignoring her call? Pink. Is it your phone? Why would I be dodging your call? Huh? I don't have, I wouldn't do that for a purpose. Huh? Yes. You wouldn't do that for a purpose. Then what about you trying to avoid me? Lucy, I'm not avoiding you. Yes, you are. I spoke with you two days ago and you didn't tell me you were back from the service. So what could have happened? If I didn't run into your sister, I wouldn't know that my man is back to town. You see, the thing is that I, I, when I came back, I was just trying to dispatch my CVs to all these companies to see if I could get a job. You know. I just hope you're telling the truth. Babe, I have no reason to tell you lies. I'm telling the truth. It's okay. So, what about our marriage plans? I think this is the right time to start preparing. <laughs> Babe, see, I, we, I, I just have to focus on something. We don't just have to jump into marriage now, you know. You don't just start talking about marriage because others are doing so. You have to plan your life first. It's okay. So, when are we looking at? Because we discussed this while you were in church, and you said the marriage preparation will commence moment you are back. Babe? Yes? I, I didn't talk anything about preparation. I meant I have to, you know, get ready and uh, prepare my life and, uh, you know, I need to be independent and uh, focus on what I'm doing. Before talking about marriage, you have to take this thing slow. You have to take it easy. David. It's okay. I actually I was worried of what I could have done wrong for you to want to ignore my calls. It did not do anything wrong to me. Okay. Now, can I get a smile? No. You know you look more <laughs> beautiful when you smile. I know, baby, and I love you. <laughs> <laughs> No, baby, relax. My brother is very mature. No, he won't screw things up. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know how to tell my mother that the guy she saw me with is my boyfriend. She'll be so disappointed. Not just disappointed, but mad at us for lying to her. Yeah. That's the truth. I, I, I guess I, I just have to tell her about it because according to my brother, I cannot hide it away from her for a very long time. I don't know. My mother is very strict. Very strict too. Especially when it has to do with any man around me. No. Yeah. I will. Yeah. Alright, babe. I love you too. Very much. Bye. <coughs> Mom. Hmm? You just walked in now, right? Well, I've been here not too long ago. Who was that he told I did not view over the phone? Uh, my friend? Yes, my friend, Mom. Male or female? Mom, I said my friend. It could be anybody. Oh, uh, really? Yes. Well, someone is looking for you. Who is that? Male or female? I don't know. It could be anybody.
I had to explain myself to your good man. You didn't meet me. No, you told me you left an instruction for my coming. Oh, yes, I did. I did. You're welcome. Wow! You guys are in a nice place here. Oh, thank you. You're being so beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> God, I've missed you. <sighs> oh, my brother is here. Oh, hey. David. Meet Irene. Irene, Dave. Irene, how are you? I'm fine. So I finally get to meet all my baby. She talks so much about you. David this, David, David always. Oh, oh, really? Yes. <laughs> good things about this? She never says bad things about you. Oh, please. Only good things. Mm -hmm. My brother has no backside. <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. yes. Okay, good to hear that. Just make yourself comfortable, okay? Thank you. I will join you guys later. Alright. Okay. Thank you. We're waiting, though. Yeah. Yeah. Let me get you some. Jeez. I need it. Something cheap. I need it. I need it. <laughs> wow. Yeah, hello Irene. <laughs> I'm I'm in front of your house now. Can you please come out? No, I can't come in. Me, you're not around. Why should I come in? I, I will just wait for you outside. Okay. Oh. oh, I'm sorry for keeping you waiting. No, it's okay. I never knew you'd be coming this early, so I went to see my cousin. The place you dropped me the last time. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Get in. Let's go. Come say hi to my cousin. Oh, okay. Yeah. Come. That's other right. Let me just surprise. I'm not coming down. <laughs> Ah, oh, okay. Uh, uh, I have to come down this time. Baby girl! <laughs> I got Lucy. Baby girl! <laughs> good to see you. Same here. You're looking good. Thank you. Somebody tell me what is going on here. Like uh, what? Um. <laughs> <laughs> what does it look like? Do you guys know each other? Obviously. Yeah. Lucy here is my friend. <laughs> Baby girl, can you please tell my cousin everything she needs to know? In fact, I'm doing it myself. Ada here mm -hmm. will be your sister-in-law just very soon. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> wow, what a small word. Anyway, Lucy, mm -hmm. I hope you're not going anywhere else. Oh. Really? Mm -hmm. And I'm dressed like this? I'm leaving. Oh, no, 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 no. You are not going anywhere <laughs> because you are coming with us. Yes, sir. Do you know what, girls? Oh, yeah. I am taking you guys out. Mm, don't okay. worry. I trust my girl. Feels on me. Yes. That's okay. I guess. <laughs> so, you're not riding with me. No, 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 no. No. Don't get in, please. See ya. Yeah. Adam. See ya. Yeah. Adam. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. <laughs> Michael, where are you? Okay. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. Oh, okay. Please get me one of my phones on top of my bed. Okay, brother. Okay. Man, mm -hmm. I envy your family. Why? The way you guys treat this girl, no one will ever know she's your maid. Amaka has become one of us, very important in this family, since she started working so faithfully in this house. Okay, even when uh, Lucy shouted at her, my mom was so mad at her for shouting at Amaka. My mom even warned her so seriously that she should stop talking to people anyhow, no matter who they are. That's uh, your girl Lucy Shah. How on there, buddy? Uh, she called me last night that she talked to you. Talk to me about what? Um, she said since you came back, you've not been calling her or taking her calls or even visit her uh -huh. the way you used to. That she's suspecting there's a lady that's taking your attention. But you know that's not true. Hmm. I 
told her so, but she said I should beg you. If there's a way she offended you without knowing, you should forgive her. That's what she told me. Okay. Thank you so much. Anyway, the truth is that when I told Lucy that I'm still doing some stuff with my NYC, she said I should just do and come back in time so we'll start planning for our wedding. Can you imagine? So I don't have to plan for my future before anything? Look, she might be joking. I know when she's joking and when she's not joking. I have to give her some space now because I don't just want to get distracted. You know, I just have to raise some money, get a job, raise money at least. Then I can plan how to spend my life with her. But Yusef, try to be halal that girl. You know, calling her gives her joy. I hear you, Mr. Lecturer. Um, by the way, where's your sister Ada? Okay, she went to see a friend who is in town. I tried calling her, but she didn't take my call. If you are interested in my sister, I want to put it to your call. Just want to inform you that she's not available. Come with it. Are you kidding me? I am not kidding you. I'm telling you the fact. Yes. I just got to know she has someone she's in love with. That means I am not lucky then. Maybe you are not. Who's coming? Hey, big bro. Yeah. How are you? Yes. I'm good. You're back, eh? Yeah. Welcome. Thank you. So, how was your outing with your friend, Irene? Oh, it was awesome. Okay. Trust me, she and Lucy confirmed it. Lucy even said she hadn't been taken out this way in a long while. Lucy? Yes. Wow. Did she go out with you and Irene? Hmm. You won't believe what happened. Lucy and Irene are actually cousins. For real? <laughs> I went to pick her, you know. You know, I called her, she said I should wait for her outside our gates. And then next thing she came out with Lucy. Boom. And she was introducing Lucy to me as her cousin. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That must be a very mad and crazy, exciting outing. <laughs> I'm telling you, it was. And all thanks to Dad who gave me a reasonable amount of money to, you know, take myself and Irene out. Yeah. Yeah. He's a nice person. <laughs> that is, sure he is. Anyway. <clears throat> I'm cool. You are not left out. I got this for my big bro. What are you doing? Why are you sniffing it? <laughs> you know, feeling the aroma. You're such a local <laughs> man. <laughs> Are you done with your calculations? Almost. So why are you here? Your phone. Someone has been calling you. So I wasn't concentrating. Um, where is your mom? Inside the room with Ada. Um, get me a glass of water. What? Are you insane? Uh, please listen, listen. Cut this line now and 
whenever you tie this knot back. That? Who was that? Uh, well, uh, he was nobody. He said I'm not my Are you sure everything is alright? Mm -hmm. It's perfectly alright. There's no problem. Yeah. Uh, you can go and continue with your calculations. Okay. Very, very angry that I told her the truth. Even though I tried apologizing to her to make her understand why I did it, but she didn't want to listen to me. Just give her time, okay? She's not angry with you because you told her the truth. She's only angry with you because you lied to her knowing that she was right. What do I do now? Eh? Because I'm scared. I don't want her to tell that about this. No, mom won't do that. Do you know what? Just, just leave her for now. Okay? Give her some time. Okay. Yeah. What is it? You look worried. Yes. Promise me you won't tell mom. Okay. I promise. It's about dad. What about dad? Someone called him. And the way he was sounding when he was talking with the person on the phone. I am sure the person is up to something. How did you know about that? There was this look on his face and it conveys a message of threat. Good morning. What's it? Mommy said I should call you. Okay. Tell her I'm coming. Let me just wash my face. Alright. What about Daddy? Has he Don't just give it to him. Try and know who he is and what he really wants first. I'm not saying you should avoid him. What I'm actually trying to let you know is that you should use your head. Let your heart lead you, not your head. So that you will not do anything you will regret in the future. Okay. Thank you very much for this advice. Your words mean a lot. They cannot be compromised. You're welcome. Thank you. Can I ask a question? Go ahead. 
it is it that you are scared of? Why am I so unlucky? Why has mom refused to share her past with us? What could she be hiding? I think we should just forget trying to know the past she was talking about. Could it be she had an affair with several men and doesn't want us to know? Mm, I don't think so. I believe she was deceived in her little village by a man into taking an oath. We have a point too. And another thing is that she doesn't want her daughter to be manipulated by someone who doesn't love her into the act of slavery. Yeah. I feel she's afraid of that. I think so. But you know, mom is not doing bad at all. She's not doing bad as a mother, as a wife and as a businesswoman. No, she's not. She's not. At all. I think we should respect her opinion for not telling us her mm. past. Lucy. Mm. What's her name? Hello? He's here with me. Oh, okay. Hello, what's up? Okay, I will call you and tell you if I'm coming or not. It's all right. Mm. We'll see. I'm going to my room. Yeah, hello? Yeah, I'm on my way. I don't want to look for you when I come, okay? I'm coming. Okay. Uh, babe, you said you have something very important to discuss with me. Yes. What is that? It's about a dream I had. You, you you just broke up with me. Really? Yes. In that dream, she didn't just break up with me. But he got married to someone who is close to me and to the family. Really? Babe, hey, come on. It's just a mad dream, not a reality. Okay? Baby, you don't understand it. See, you just have to take your mind off this before you start suspecting anyone that comes around me. Okay, I'll try. Baby, tell me the truth. Are you seeing someone behind my back? No. You know I can never compromise a relationship, no matter what. Okay, um... One last thing. Mm -hmm. I, I called my father after the dream and I told him that we're coming to see him regarding our marriage plans. You called your father? Yes. Why? Why must you, why must you tell your father that? Okay, the worst today's date is April 1st. Okay, I want you to call your father and tell him that you were just playing a prank. Okay? That you just want to do him April Fool. Baby, no! I am serious. I caught my father because of the dream I had. And I don't want what I saw in the dream to manifest. I don't want to lose you. You're not going to lose me to anyone, okay? Are you sure? Um, the shots 
brother bought for you. I don't know what happened. I, I just have to go down the supermarket somewhere and uh, get another one. There's no problem. Let me change this one way, you know, get something better. But for that, come here. <laughs> I love you, too. I'm so sorry. That was a mistake. What kind of mistake? Are you blind? Are you blind? I didn't really notice that, okay? I didn't, I didn't see you in time. You are lucky nothing happened to you. You would have seen the other side of me this afternoon. Hey! What is it, Mr. Man? What is it? Uh -uh. Baby, baby, My baby on, said on, he's it. sorry. Please. And you're here acting up as if it's a stop deliberate it. act. Okay, okay. Baby, who, I'm who, who is this one now? Was I referring to you? What is your problem? Are you raising your voice at me? My friend, will you shut up? Just look at you. I'm sure you're one of those useless men who pounds on their women. Hey, look, God. Look, look at you. Baby, so you are not even on. up to the class of my girlfriend. Talk more of. Hey, let me tell you, you don't ever compare your stupid girlfriend with me. I'm sure you are dating one of those local champions, girl. Baby, look at you. Stop stop hold your woman. Stop if you don't hold her, I'll slap hell out of her. Hey, you cannot I'll slap hell out of you. You cannot slap me. Hey, baby, you cannot slap me. Let me alone and let me talk to this Hold your woman, I'll slap hell out of you. Are you mad? You cannot do anything. Are you mad? You want to slap me? No, no, no. Look at this Look at this Look at this Are you mad? Are you mad? You know who you are talking to? Let me Your boyfriend wants to give you a making noise. Are you mad? You want to stop my man? Mr. Man. See, just take your useless car out of this place now before before I'm finally giving you here in the next. See, you know, you know, you know I begged you initially. But Baby. if you dare raise your hand on my woman, Baby. you Nothing see yourself. You, you wanted time. to kill me here. I didn't Baby. mean you kill me here. You can sit the other side of me. Baby, go ahead to kill someone. You're mad. You're mad. Baby, give me go ahead to kill this man. Mad boyfriend, mad girlfriend. Baby. Two mad people inside the car. You're Baby. looking for somebody to kill. Let's go. Let's go now. Mad girlfriend. Ah. You're mad. You're mad. Stop it. You're mad. Stop it. Don't worry. Don't worry. Hello, love. Baby, I've been trying to call you back. Your line has been busy. You, you called me earlier. Baby, you oh, see this man? You, 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 you see this man? Hello? Ba baby? Baby, what's going on? Who is that? Victor? Victor? Hello? Hey, Come on, fight me now! Are you mad? Come on, fight me! See, I, I, I'm good. And you? So what's up? Were you able to order the bags you saw online? <sighs> no, my dear. But I'll place the order later today. Oh, okay. Okay. What up, David? Did he come to see you? Yes, he came. But you won't believe what happened today. One idiot, one stupid boy came in from nowhere. And got us upset. If not for your brother, who had me back. Ah, God, you know what I can do. I would have showed him my madness. He's lucky. <laughs> oh, goodness me. I beg, I beg, I beg. Oh, your madness. No go sure. Can you imagine? Abba, can you just imagine? This guy was insulting me for no reason. Me! Hey! <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. What actually happened? Trust me now. Trust me, Lucy. I showed him Pepe. Now, once I changed him for a moon, I even had to insult his generation, his family, and that his stupid girlfriend he was bragging with. That smelling. Go. Ha! <laughs> it's alright. I hope no one is hurt. Mm, not at all. Thank God. At least you are able to control yourselves. Please calm down. Okay? Alright. Alright, I'll talk to you later. Later then. Bye. Hmm. 
Lucy. Why is this person provoking today? What's happened? You can imagine my sister. See me, see Wahala, one stupid boy. Mm. Came from nowhere, insulting me. Mm. Me, me, Lucy. Ah, Are you see, you see this fight, it has not ended. As long as we're in this town, I will meet him somewhere and I will deal with him. I know you and I trust you. Me, for this. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, yo. Very nice. Ah. What is your problem now? What is your problem this game? Lucy. Hello, Felix. I am at the location of the address you gave me on phone. But I can't see you. I've searched everywhere. Where are you? Hello? Sorry, are you Felix? Are you Mr. Koye? Oh, yes, yes, I am. Uh, Felix, are you Felix? I don't have the idea. Hello, hello, young man. Young man, are you Felix? Talk to me. Hello, Felix. Felix, why are you doing this to me? Are you, I mean, I, are you the one threatening me? Why are you doing this to me? What is going on? Please, talk to me. I've had enough of this, please. You know he's going to come to the house, right? No, you don't have to bring him on. Yes, I just want to see him first and know the kind of person he is. Okay. But you know nobody is perfect. I'm sure you're going to like his person, you see. I believe that no one is perfect, anyway. I really met one guy today who coughed himself. What happened? But the guy really likes mass. But I allowed him, I, I just allowed him to fool himself with his so called girlfriend who is intoxicating him. Wait, he was with his girlfriend? No. He was just bragging with the girl as if the girl is so special. Bro, there's nothing wrong with a man bragging with a girl he loves so much. I agree with you, but not in front of my girl. Yeah. Oh, anyway, thank God you handled the whole thing with children. Because Lucy called to tell me about it. Mm. Yeah. Ah, oh, Daddy. Welcome, Daddy. Daddy, welcome. You know one thing I hate about dad and mom? They never love to share their challenges with their That's children. Cool.
What is it? Why are you such a moody state? What happened? Hello? I've never seen you in such a sorry state before. Talk to me. What is it? Lucy. Lucy, talk to me. I'm here for you. Are you okay? Talk to me. Baby. I've never seen you in such a sullen state before. Talk to me. What is it? I just woke up from a dream. A dream? What dream? Yes. The same dream I told you about David getting married to someone close to me. And do you have any other female friend that is also close to David? No. Just you and Lizzie. Who is Lizzie? I got to know Dave. Full Lizzie. And she's no more in the country. And are you sure they are not communicating? I don't know. I don't. But I'll find out from her. Hello? Who? What's that? Lizzie, she just called to tell me that she's in town. She's in town. Hello, Ada. Yeah, how are you? Are you there alone or your brother is with you? I'm alone in my room. Is there any problem? Ada, who is Lizzie? Lizzie? Yeah. Lizzie, who is she? Um, the Lizzie I know is no longer in Nigeria. Um, and who is she to David? She's a close friend to David. As a matter of fact, it's through her. Your cousin what is it? What's going on? Alright, I don't know how to put it, but my cousin had a dream and she told David about the dream. From the look of things, I think her dream is about to come to reality. What's the dream about? I suggest you ask your brother. Okay. Is there anything else? For you to know there is a sense in the dream she had. Lizzie is in town. For real? For real. Just ask your brother, then relate her dream to Lizzie's presence in town. Okay. Alright, good night. We'll talk tomorrow, okay? Alright then, good night.
I was... I've been looking for you. Yeah, I went to give that his laptop and Amoka told me you're looking for me. Did you... go with Lucy? <laughs> you can imagine why she called me. Just to tell me about the dream she had. What about it? <laughs> that I got married to someone that is close to her and us. So she had to call her dad to tell him that we are coming to see him. <laughs> What's so funny? You know, I'm just trying to understand the whole thing. Coming to see them as what? As the man she's getting married to. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh. Well, when last did you hear from Lizzie? About two months ago. Yeah. Mm. But I didn't call to say Liz is in town. Are you serious? Yeah. So I think you should verify from Lucy. That's not possible. Lizzie cannot come into town without calling me on the phone. That's why I said you should verify from Lucy. Hell no. I can't do such a thing. She would believe that you were having something. And also believe that the dream she had is beginning to play out. And there's no way to make Lucy understand this is just a friend. That is it. Wow. So that means we have to wait until Lizzie calls. Because I'm sure if she's in town, she will definitely call you. Okay, let me go and sleep. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. I am so exhausted. Good night. Good night. Oh. Five missed calls. What is this? Hello, who is this, please? Wow! Lizzie! Yeah, I was just told you're back in the country. Oh, you're welcome back, girl. Nice to have you back. <laughs> it's okay, I'm gonna save you over now. Okay. See you then. <laughs> wow. Dear, dear. Ah. I looked for you in the room, you were not there. I'm here trying to assess some files in my laptop. My second phone is acting up. I don't know if you can help me call your phone engineer to fix it. Ah, well, I'll do that tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And I'll ask David to follow it up. Is that okay by you? Any other thing? You have told me what I want to hear. Thank you. You're welcome. Hello. Hello, now listen. If you ever let my daughter know about this, honestly, I will never forgive you. I know what you're up to. I know the game you are trying to play. But come out open. Say what you want. Yes? 
Okay, I'll get back to you. What is that? What is the hidden truth? Hidden truth. Yeah. My ears are itching me. Itching me to hear. Oh, yeah. What is the hidden truth? Hidden truth to have. My ears are itching me. Itching me to hear. You say. Besides, I'm not in vain. I know something is free. Ah, Ada. Emeka. How are you? I'm fine. Good afternoon. Uh, where are you coming from and where are you going to? <laughs> I went to buy a burger. <laughs> and I'm going to see someone. Oh, wow. That means I'm going to be your driver for today. <laughs> you're so funny. I'm sure I'm not going my direction. Don't worry. Yeah, just come in. Let me take you. No, 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 no. Don't worry. Thank you. Oh, I don't mind. I'll do it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. You don't need to thank me. You know you are part of my responsibility. All right. Bye. Okay. Your phone has been ringing. Thank you. Um, the person you came to check, is he not here yet? No, 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 but he's on his way. Oh, look. Tell your dad to get you a girl. A big girl like you should be cruising in her own car. Your dad is rich. Sure, sure, sure. I will soon be a car owner, don't worry. Nice. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much. Bye bye. You feel my brother is too humble and gentle for you to have handle. I am here to let you know that he has a sister who is as mad as you are. Are you talking to me like Oh, please shut up! Shut the hell up! Who are you that I cannot talk to you? Whose daughter are you? I know you are pushing me. 
Really? So what? Like you are pushing me. Then do your worst. I don't 